Yo, what's up guys, Jack here, come back you guys with another video. Now, in today's video guys, we're going to be going over the best graphic settings here for Warzone in Call of Duty Season 5. What are you guys feeling about Season 5? I'm very pumped for it, it's the good stuff, you know, freshening things up a bit. Uh, season 4, I think I managed to get like level 200 and maybe like 90. So obviously now I can go for my levels again and just play some more Warzone. It's really fresh, the game feels great at the moment. What are you guys thinking of it? But listen, I'm just going to get on with these settings here. If you're new to the channel, subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any future content. We've got videos coming out that I know tomorrow. Like this video if you did enjoy it and put some comments in the comment section down below and feedback what I can do to improve. I'm always open to feedback, but listen, let's just move on with this video. So, <clears throat> the brightness here, we're going to be going for 50, okay? Now, you could obviously do it at the complete maximum like this. Yeah. And you can see people more in Warzone, it's a bit better, but I'm always just playing on 50, that's just how I roll, that's what I think looks best. Try them out, I've tried on the lowest, on the highest, but if you're going to do anything you want to go higher, I wouldn't really go any lower than 50. If you're having a problem seeing, then, you know, maybe go a bit higher. Film grain, you want this on zero, you want to get the most clear picture as much as possible. Obviously, as you can see here, it's the visual noise, look on the right, things look a bit, you know... I don't know what the word like, like gritty, you don't want that, you want the clearest picture possible, so put on zero film grain, just have them enabled, that doesn't really matter, that's fine, subtitles I have them disabled, you can have them on enabled, I know a lot of people do, but I just prefer them on disabled, English, of course, colorblind type, now, I was running number three, basically it changes, obviously, depending if you're colorblind or not, or listen, if, even if you're not colorblind, you can still use this, it just changes how, like the colors of things, and mainly in multiplayer really, but I just keep it on this, this is what works best for me. Um, look, you guys try it, look, as you can see, things are changing there. You know what I mean? But that's just what I go for, disable, works perfect for me. Motion blur, I'm going for disable, do not ever have motion blur on it. It might look quite nice, um, but you don't want it on. You just want no motion blur so you can see things as clear as possible. Same with weapon motion blur as well. Please never have it enabled, obviously, I mean, you can if you want, but you'll be getting the better optimization here with it disabled um we're just gonna have this as enabled for now i'm not gonna go too much into this it just depends on you know whatever you're doing now for the mini map shape we have it as a square so you can see more of a um circumference as you can see of the circle you can only see a little bit when it's a square you can definitely see a lot more so please use a square if you want to see more of the mini map mini map rotation i have it on enabled of course when you're walking about it's enabled when it's not it's just gonna stay in one place you know what I mean um, <clears throat> I just have letters on this. this is what I'd run because of Fortnite pretty much um, letters on the compass just works perfect for me now for the text chat here we're just gonna have it on off that's fine I don't really do a lot of texting in chat anyway so I don't really need it on you know what I mean um, and all these settings here are just basic you these are just what you guys run what you guys prefer and what you guys would like to do but listen that's been it for today's video guys i hope i have helped you out i hope i've uh, showed you a setting that you're going to kind of put in your setup and, and use from now on if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and put some comments in the comment section down below with any feedback you know that i can do to improve the videos what you run everything like that but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video and hopefully i'll see you in the next one